Yeah. So you'll find what you're looking for when you stop looking. All of your exes with lessons in. We'll talk about them again. You keep on settling. Wonder if love is a pain or the medicine. You never let it in. Well, I guess it's your right. But fake has been never my type. And I didn't build up this wall overnight. See, I wanted more than just lust for the night. Then you came in my life. You, you, you're different than them. I'm used to them playing pretend. I'm used to your only a friend. Fell deep in each letter you send. I'm questioning love and again. I'm questioning when it will end. Then till I break it, my heart don't break even. I want this for longer than only a season. And you didn't break me. You, you came to pick up the pieces. No, you never hear it, but you is who I believe in. No one never perfect, but you are perfect to me. And lately I'm believing in love. You are the reason I'm talking to my angels above. Wish you could meet him. Wish I could see him one more day. Just to hear his voice tell me everything is okay. Just to show him that his son is your folk and to change and hear him laugh when I tell him about the stories he made. Pretending like I'm okay. I'm broken and you know it. Building up a wall and never show it. Grabbing on my face, told me focus. You're not the only one that's been broken. I'm hoping you open up. I thought what? Thinking that I'm always hoping, but I realize I've been swollen shut. There's more to us. There's more to love than surface. Lost the surface front. And an item I spill my guts, she said. Six. 
sorry, no medicine, penitent and motion like pendulums. People don't get the point, so let me write you a pentagram. Selling your soul for a tuna can, garbage man, sound like you auto tuna can. Who are you again? Screwing loose again. You are not the man, couldn't picture that. Failing Instagram, huh? everybody sleeping on, huh? everybody sleeping on. Huh? Every year before this was a warm up, sleeping pills, I don't see him kicking up. Hard to keep my manners, but I'm nicer with a pan. See the wood in different colors, love and hate to see them blend. Everybody want the product, not the work, so they pretend like they got it, but they don't know wonder when it's gonna end. Yeah. A lot of people love to talk, why don't they love to show up? Too many drinks inside a controller. I don't need Jay to tell you it's over. Never play poker, all of my chips on my shoulder. Pick you apart, you a clover, huh? Flirting with the stars, made a house among them. That's the Casanova. That's in the moment. What is up, everybody? Jay here as always, and today we're playing more Pokemon Sword and Shield, the Crown Tundra. We're going to be picking up right where we left off, and uh, pretty much going from there. Hopefully our bitrate keeps up, and uh, we don't have any issues. Yeah. As you can see, we're not in the Crown Tundra, but we're going to go ahead and fix that. <laughs> I forgot exactly where I was. But we're gonna go back down to the, uh. Yeah, right here. We gotta go there and talk to the old man, I believe, that we searched for over at his house. Which is up there. So, yeah. Hopefully everybody out there is doing well and uh, spiffy. Let's go talk to this old guy. Let me pull my mic on over. Have you seen what's happened to the statue of the King of Bountiful Harvest? Its head has become massive. Huh? You say that's the way the king's supposed to look? Now that you mention it, it does resemble the design on our town's souvenir shirts. But you speak as if you've seen the king with your own eyes. That statue has been broken since I was a child. I, they found it. They found his head behind the house. Like how? How has it been broken since you were a child? Oh, of course. You wanted to learn about the loyal steed of the King of Bountiful Harvest. Well, I don't know why you'd be interested in such things, but come, then follow me. We're going to go and find the king's horse, apparently. An old book I read long ago said that the king's loyal steed was particularly fond of a certain special vegetable. But my memory isn't what it used to be. I can't recall what th exactly the steed so desired. I think it best that you search on the bookshelf over there, if you want to find out any more. So he brought me in just to do research for him. Like, okay. There are all kinds of books about the Crown Tundra. Which book would you like to read? Um, well, this one. The, horses, the horse Pokemon gave over to its power to serve the king and carry its hither and thither. What? The two even became one for a time, combining their strength to create a forest in a single night. This proud steed had been a wild thing once, ravaging the village crops and causing much woe. But the king, in all its greatness, brought this fierce creature to heal and secured its loyalty. And for each among us who claims the steed's hide was black as the midnight gloom in which ghosts appear, there is another who claims it was white as a block of solid ice. None alive can say, can now say which is the truth. Would you like to check it? I guess so. It didn't tell me anything about what it likes to eat. Huh. The king was a great Pokemon that brought abundance to our cold land. With a sweep of its right hand, the land would be blanketed in verdant grasses and blooms. With a sweep of its left hand, the fruit of the fields would ripen and grow heavily. Its great crown of green gleaming the king galloped across the land aside its proud steed. 
and on their footsteps, buds would burst from the soil, and rich life was born across the region. And so we worshipped the Pokemon and paid it all due tribute as king. Reigns of Unity. Though these reigns did the king send its power in order to tame and control its proud steed, the reins, in fact, were made by the hands of the people, and thanks for the plenty brought by the king. These reins bound not only the horse and the king to one another, they bound the people to the king as well. At the dawning of each new year, we must never forget to gift the king with this offering. Let the radiant flower and the mane of the steed be woven together to bind us all in faith. Let the secrets of the sacred art be passed from parent to child to grandchild and never forgotten. Uh, ah, I guess so. While carrots can be grown in the crown tundra, they have rather unusual growth habits. When grown beneath the heat snow, they hardy, the, these hardy roots tend to develop into ice root carrots. When grown in tracks uh, tax are close to where many souls are led to rest. Shade root carrots will okay. Will be your crop. Shade root carrots are a favorite treat for many ghost type Pokemon, while ice type Pokemon seem to delight in eating ice root carrots. According to the old fairy tales, the steed that the king of Bountiful Harvest rode upon loved both of these varieties, or perhaps one or the other. Records seem to contradict one another, with some stories speaking of a white steed delighting on ice root carrots and others mentioning a black steed devouring shade root carrots. I am done. Maybe I go talk to him now? You want to learn? No, nope. I have to go get ice root or shade root. Ah, there he is. It's such a weird looking Pokemon, honestly. I don't I don't like his design at all. And here we go. <clears throat> yep, can't understand you. Hmm. Oh, hey there, Chief. I had a feeling someone called me. Was it you? Huh? Ah, uh, okay. We're just gonna keep fucking with this dude's mind. Human child, were you able to find something about out about my loyal steed? Yep. You say you found out about something that my loyal steed could not resist? It has been so long since we rode together, but I had completely forgotten. With this information, we may be able to lure my loyal steed to me yet. So tell me, what is it that my loyal steed would find so irresistible? Carrots? Oh, carrots, you say? Yes, yes, I remember now. Even back when we were together, it would leap at any chance to eat some kind of crop. It took everything I had to restrain it. Looking back, the crop must have been carrots. I am in your debt, human child. What we must do now is clear. If we are able to find carrots somewhere, it should be a bit trifle to lure my loyal steed back to me. I wonder, do the humans in this village grow any carrots? If we could attain even a single seed, I could grow a carrot from it myself. Okay. In order to find a king's beloved steed, I'll need to first get my hands on its favorite food. Carrots. Maybe the people in Freezington could help me out. Well, let's go around asking for a damn carrot seed. Let's go in here. And nobody. Okay. okay this house is just going to be abandoned forever. Let's uh, go talk to Grandma, who's busy doing nothing. Ice root carrots, cold as ice, munched all up in the 
munched all up by the bully of white. Shade ripped carriage, dark as doom, crunched by the bully with a ghostly groom. Thank you for singing to me. Yo. It's cold outside, dearie. Why not stay a while? Is that a cosmos? Oh, that's Woofy. I found it shivering outside the village and just had to bring it home. You know, I think it was just about when I found Froofy that other strange Pokemon began appearing in the tundra. I've never seen a Pokemon like Froofy before. Maybe it'd be best to have a proper trainer. Take care of it. If only I could find a dependable one. Give it here. I've never seen a Pokemon. Give me Froofy! You're just gonna turn off my follower. Go away, kid. She got a Cosmog just sitting right there. <laughs> this dude, maybe. There you go. Oh, you look for carrots? Well, you won't be finding any this time of year. We do have seeds right here, though. Do you want to trade eight pieces of Dynite Ore for carrots? Yeah, sure. There we are. Oh, wonderful. This is plenty. Now we can bury the ore in our fields and make our crops huge. Here are the seeds I promised. Bag of carrot seeds. Thank you. Cool. Don't go planting those seeds I gave you willy-nilly in the village's fields now. These fields are for our own crops. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go talk to Big Head. I got some carrot seeds. Hey, yo. Have you found the carrot human child? By the stars. You say that you have carrot seeds? That strange bag contains the seeds of carrots. You humans never stop adapting and evolving. I am constantly amazed by your ing ingenuity. I said that word all sorts of wrong. And yet, hmm, the fields of the village simply won't do. They're not suited for growing carrots. If we could find rich soil, I could use my powers to grow the crops we need. Now, where might we find soil suited for growing these crops in the tundra of mine? Um. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a field there. Ah, I see two spots that might suit our needs. One is a field covered in pristine snow. I want to go there. Another spot is a field by gravestones where those two, where those who moved on were laid to rest. Yeah, that's the one I want to go for. I want to get the uh, the ghost horse. Either of those locations should allow me to use my powers to grow the carrots we need. Please, I ask that you choose a field and plant those seeds. Okay. Snort. <laughs> What in the... I seem to be getting in the habit of falling asleep outside. Ha <laughs> well, I guess it just goes to show that holding down the fort isn't all that easy. You take care of yourself, Chief, and don't overdo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just get, go, go away. You marked the two fields Calarx told you about on your town map. You jotted down the current status of Legendary Clue 1. Upon hearing what I was, that I was able to find carrot seeds, Calyrex told me about the two fields where I can grow the carrots. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. My bad. <laughs> oh no. Nat, Nanny! Oh, what's gonna happen? Sing that song about the King Steed Pokemon. Oh, of course, my dear. I'd love to. Ice carrots, cold as ice, munched all up by the bully in white. Shade root carrots, dark as gloom, crunched by the bully with a ghostly gloom. Now you make sure you eat your veggies too, just like the Pokemon in the song. Yes, Nan. We figured that out, Nan. You didn't have to go singing. Uh, yes. We will be catching you guys soon. Don't worry. Actually, I need to catch one of the ice cube ones. Oh, that was close as shit. Is it over here? 
Where's my town map? Where do I gotta go? Yeah, I'm right, like, right there. Hey, go away. Hey. Ah, uh, the moon. Okay. I'm gonna run into that, like, hardcore. I don't want to run into it yet. Where the hell... Old Cemetery. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna have to... Get down there, right? Right, let's go find the cemetery. There, I think that's it right there. Go away. Yeah, here it is. There we go. It's one of the fields Calyrex told you about. Do you want to plant the carrot seed in this field? Yes, I do. Calyrex is bringing dude with him. I see you have reached one of the fields. If you plant the seeds in this field, shade root carrots will grow. It has been so long that my memory is hazy, but I believe that my loyal steed would often partake in this sort of vegetable. If shade root carrots were what my steed preferred, it must have been ghost type, mustn't it? It's most vexing that I can't recall. I suppose we will see. I will ask but once more. Are you sure this is the field in which you want to plant the seeds? Yes, I want the ghost type horsey. Very well. Then I ask that you plant the seeds. Dig, dig, dig. I planted the carrot seeds in the field. Pet, pet. Very good, very good. You have... You have an able hand of working with soy bull. Soy bull. Soy bull. What the fuck is soy bull? Now then, it's time I did my part. Let me show you my powers. Show us those powers, big head. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, is it gonna grow? Rumble, rumble. Uh, oh, doink. You planted so many seeds, and yet my power could only get one to grow. To think that I have fallen so low, it truly breaks my heart. But soon it will be time to bid my sorrow farewell. Now, human child, I must ask that you pull that shade root carrot free with all your might. Yes, the carrot's like a master sword. There we go. I'm two and pull. We got the shade root, guys. Produce, produce that the king of bountiful harvest beloved steed likes to eat. It grew in a gloomy field. Carrot looks gross, by the way. Well done, human child. That carrot will be the key to luring my loyal steed back to me. Now all I need are the reins of unity. They will amplify my power, letting me ride my loyal steed with ease. But I doubt I shall ever get another set from the humans in this village. In the village. Oh, shit. Sh what? <laughs> what? Spect here. My loyal steed, is that truly you? That glossy black pelt, that rough violet gallop. It has not changed from the day we first met. Oh, how it brings back memories. Uh, it's actually a really pretty Pokemon. It is my belief that while my steed kicked up on the scent of the carrot, it could not determine where the scent was coming from. Judging from the direction it ran off, it must be headed to the village in an attempt to pillage carrots there. 
If that is true, then Freezington is in danger. He would shout. We must make haste. Okay. Uh, jot it down. Calyrex was able to grow a shadewood carrot from the seed I planted in the field by the graves. The scent of the carrot lured Spectier out, but it ran off toward Freezington. I guess we gotta get back to Freezington. After we kill this thing. A wild needle ram. Alright, um. I don't have you. Let's use a quick block. Let's see if we can get it one shot. This will be the first Pokemon we've caught legitimately. Well, we've caught them all legitimately, but the first field Pokemon. So yeah, well, we got a Nita Nidoran. Add it to the box. We're going to be sorting all you guys out later on. But all right now, we got to get back to freezing. Them. We actually need one of the... Um... I want that. Hey, I just caught a Nidor and Feebel. Might as Nidorina. Might as well catch y'all ass too. After my Charizard sparkles and shakes. Quick ball it is. Oh, we got a perfect throw. Look at that. And your R's. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And Arena. That's what's up. We got those two out of the way. No, 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 we're not, we're not. We're just gonna send it to the box. There we go. I think we're gonna go up here. Go away, Jinx. Hey, you. I'm gonna throw a Master Ball at you. Wham. Such a pretty horse. Okay. Uh-oh. Can I just fucking catch it? I don't think it's gonna let me catch it. Uh-huh. It's after your shade root carrot. And you're not gonna get my shade root carrot. What's up? You can't throw a Pokeball. Ah, oh, okay. Um Dragon Breath. That's right. Hex. That's not nice. We're, we're just gonna keep uh, dragon breath in your ass until you run away, Pokemon. That's right, bitch. Hey, don't you kick me, you bitch. Oh, I'm gonna catch you. Not right now, but I'm gonna catch you. So pretty. Victor, to your fainted. We kicked its ass. Come on, do something, King. Barack. That fucking horse just bark at me. Oh God. Oh, the horse remembers. That horse was gonna trample that old lady. Let's 
<laughs> Are you alright? Yes, I feel like something stepped in to save me. Yeah, maybe the king? The, the, the king book of mans? What is that? I swear to God, if it's the reins. Tuft of black mane hair. Oh, that's how we're gonna make the manes. Okay. Oh, kind visitor, how could I possibly thank you enough for saving the people of this village? I had no idea such a vicious Pokemon still existed in the tundra. Why, it reminded me of that Pokemon in the fairy tales, the loyal steed of the king. Ah, but no doubt I am overthinking things. Hmm, what is that you have there? Is that a tuft of black mane hair? In a fairy tale, it is said that by weaving the hair of the royal steed together with a radiant blossom grown by the king, it is possible to create the reins of unity, which link the king with the steed. In fact, it was my own ancestors who used to weave the reins of unity following an ancient tradition passed down over many years. Of course, I, my, I myself have never seen any kind of radiant flower, and the method of making the reins has also been lost in time. In any case, we can't spend all day musing over fairy tales. I must make plans and preparations. That Pokemon could well decide to pay us another visit, after all. Thank you very much for your help, kind traveler. Well then. I got those hats just kind of floating behind them. What was the smile for, dude? That was kind of a bad situation. Really fucked up. And see you have my thanks for protecting the village, human child. Were I at my fur po full power, I could have tamed my steed and regained its loyalty. But weakened as I am now, the most I could do was influence its will and make it depart. If only I had the reins of unity, they would have allowed me to tame my steed in short order. We need a flower. Definitely need a flower. What's that? We can make a set of reins with mane hair from my loyal steed and a flower? That I can grow? Yes, but of course. I had assumed that the humans stopped making the reins of unity because they had lost their faith in me. But it was because I lost the power to grow the material needed. I have spent far too long holding my misguided assumptions to it seems it has been many centuries since I was able to grow a radiant flower. Doing so drains much of my power, but for whatever reason, a fraction of my power seems to have returned to me just now. Because reasons. <coughs> there is only one thing to be done. Let the radiant flower bloom. Is it going to come out of your head? Dude! Crown Bloomus! Take this, human child. You obtained a radiant petal. And you put the radiant petal in here? Yeah. Pent, pent. It shames me to admit it, but a whole flower is beyond me right now. I do not know if that petal will be enough, but I still must ask that you use it to try to create the reins of unity. The descendants of the family who once made the reins for me should still live in the village. I put my hopes on you, human child. Ah, damn it. I gotta put the old man to work again. Let's go talk to him. Probably gonna make me read more books. Oh, hello again, savior of our village. Come to do some more reading? I need a favor. 
I beg your pardon? You want me to make a set of reins of unity? Well, I said, uh oh. If my dear great granddad were still around, he'd have been able to make you a set. But unfortunately, we've no one left who knows the traditional ways at this point. What's more, I doubt you have the flower you'd need to forge a set of reins. Is that a petal from a radiant flower? If so, would that not mean the King of Bountiful Harvest is truly... No, no, I dear hope, not hope. If I recall, my ancestors made reigns of unity by following the ways passed down in fairy tales. There were two materials, a flower and hairs from a Pokemon. But I'm afraid those old traditions have long since faded from memory. Still, how could I refuse a favor to such a kind and helpful guest? The materials, if you please. All right, he's gonna try to do something. Let's see what he's gonna make us. I can't promise this will turn out as well as the ones my great granddad would have made, but time to breathe life back into the traditions of my village. Let's do it, old guy. I'm afraid it hasn't come out well at all. I fancy myself a crafty enough sort, but I suppose I'd take a craftsman's of truly delicate technique to make such fine reins. Oh, please, don't look so dejected. I'm very sorry, truly I am. Oi, Mr. Mayor! The hot water in my shower seems to have gone on holiday. Ah, oh, yes, terribly sorry. I'll have a look at it soon. Oh, you're here too, Chief. Are you in the middle of something? The pair of you seem awfully gloomy. <coughs> what? Is that all? <laughs> so all you need to do is make some nice cord? Pass me those materials for a mo. Alright, got me petal, got me hair. Now, what am I supposed to do with them? Mm hmm. If I am to be so bold, allow me to share a song that survives from the legends. Blossom woven round and round, a royal gift in mane's hair bound. Steady on, old bloke. The singing's a bit much. Oh, well. That'll do for an answer. Oh, yeah. I, I guess Peony's making it. All finished. Have a look. Think this'll do? You tend to see it of reins of unity. You put the set of reins of unity in your bag. Towards that shine when you hold them up in the light. The people of old times presented these to the king of bountiful harvest to express their gratitude. You're more capable than your face lets on. These reins of unity are spinning image of those in my family's tales. Ha <laughs> ha I don't sew all my dear rebellious daughter's clothes for nothing, you know. Even the explorer's outfit I gave you was handmade by yours truly. Uh -huh. In any case, it seems you've got the reins of unity you need. Isn't that just smashing? Okay, this, this story is so fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we, we need you to go get your body snatched for a second. Would you believe it? I caught myself falling asleep outside again. I was chilled to the bone, so I thought I'd warm myself up with a good old hot shower at our base. But the water coming out was ice cold. I got... <clears throat> okay. <laughs> <coughs> Human child, were you able to make the Raids of Unity? You bet. Oh, joy. What glorious news. I have some good news of my own. I was finally able to track down my loyal steed. Spectre is making its home in the Crown Shrine. It is a place where my loyal steed and I spent much time together. I had been avoiding the place as I feared I would get trapped in my own nostalgia. 
Why has my loyal steed made the shrine its home? It is reminiscing about our time together. No, it can't be. The crown shrine stands majestically atop the mountain to the north. Bring the carrot and the reins of unity and meet me there. I shall hasten there now, but you may come when you feel you are ready. I am counting on you, child. Okay. And he's abducting Peony. Using the main hair I got by defeating the Pokemon that was once the king's loyal steed along with the radiant petal grown by Calyrex itself, I was able to recreate, to recreate the reins of unity. Now I need to head to the crown shrine where the steed's been living to meet up with Calyrex. I was up there the last time we played. Can I just like, you know... <laughs> okay, cool. Cool. Let's just uh, go all in and uh, see what we do. Uh, talk to, it, this feels end gamey. I've been waiting, human child. The crown shrine is a place I once called home. Spectre must think me hopeless now that I have lost my powers. It taunts me by making this place its own dwelling. Ah, I see you have indeed brought me the reins of unity. You have my thanks, child. You gave the reins of unity to Calyrex. Ah, the feeling of holding these again. The color. The way they shine in the light. Oh, how this brings back memories. Spectre is a very proud Pokemon. One might even call it arrogant. It will not accept me as its master again unless I am able to prove that my power outweighs its own. I will use the reins of unity to pour my power into the very body of my loyal steed. That should convince it that I am indeed still deserving of its loyalty. Now, human child, in order to lure the loyal steed to me, place the shade root carrot into the basket near where Spectre's made its bed. Okay. Let's go. The time has come, human child. But you have successfully defeated my loyal steed once already. It will not willingly approach anyone it considers to be a threat. We must hide and wait for it to pe appear. Okay. I'm, I'm still going to be able to, like, do Peony's, like, adventure, right? After this, because this feels super endgamey for some reason. And... Kind of a really horrible story, not gonna lie. <laughs> Who did just floating there with its limp legs? It's such a pretty horse and its hooves don't attach to its body. Oh, it likes that shit. Here we go. Oh shit! Fucking peyote. Ah, oh, there he goes. They are now friends again. Can, can I throw a master ball at them now? Oh, did he just get a cape? Yeah, he did. I'll get in my master ball. Um. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Got to shut off my phone. If my phone wants to work. 
Hold on one sec, guys. Come on, damn phone. Stop it. There we go. What in the world? Such a huge noggin, and it's gonna ride. Uh, yep, yeah, buddy. Um, please take over, Peony. It can talk. Uh, it's just saying crown, crown. What? What do you want? Huh. I've got no idea what you're saying, but somehow it also makes sense. Peony, you're fucking weird, dude. Hold the phone. What? Uh, not again. Human child. Thanks to your effort, I have been reunited with my loyal steed. And now I am finally at my full power. I was convinced that the people no longer believed in me. And I had also lost my loyal steed. I was trapped in the throes of deep loneliness, but you saved me. There are truly no words with which to fully express my gratitude to you. So I have a suggestion. If you are able to catch me, even with my powers restored, it will prove your worth beyond any doubt, and I will lend you my strength on your journey. Once you have readied yourself, come face me. Haha, <laughs> but first... I should get this man back to where I found him. It would be no good to let him freeze out in the frigid claim. Climb? Hey, right, I'm gonna throw a master ball at you. Can't break it out of that. Do you want to ready your Pokeballs in order to catch Calyrex? Yep. Calyrex appeared. Come on, Charizard, you can do it. Yeah, buddy. Calyrex has won. Calyrex on nerve. I have Master Balls for days, buddy. You ain't getting out of this one, I'm sorry. I'm gonna talk all the shit I want and try to break out, and you're mine. Ah, <laughs> 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 <sighs> oh, fuck all the legendaries are mine. Calyrex data will be added to Pokedex. And you said that Calyrex and a Pokemon that had bonded with it ran all across the Galar region to bring green to the wastelands. Um, yeah, we'll add it to the box. Why not? Not box. Party. There we go. Human child, no, I should refer to you by your name now, Sin. Now you can talk without, uh, without the owner. Look forward to what adventures we might have together. Oh, that you, Chief? It's me, Peony. I just had a dream about a big-headed Pokemon talking on and on in a weird shrine. You were there too, Chief. It all felt so real. I got worried about you and decided I'd better give you a call and check in. You haven't hurt yourself, have you, Chief? Not in a bunch of trouble, are you? Ah, I'm fine. Ah, good to hear, guess. I got nothing to worry about then. The Peony Exploration Team is all about the safety and well-being of its members, after all. So, you be careful on your way back to you, hear? No expeditions over until you're safe and sound at home base. Wahahaha. <laughs> you jotted it down, yeah. Calyrex, the king of Bountiful Harvest, was able to reconnect with its loyal steed using the new reins of unity. Calyrex also seems to have regained its trust in humankind. As thanks for helping its reign, its power, Calyrex is allowing me to take it along on me on my adventure. Uh, oh, well, no, the, the Charizard doesn't even show up here. I'm hoping Calyrex, like, follows. 
I do have to change him in my Pokemon lineup. It's easy to do this. Plus, we gotta level up Calyrex. He, he's not matching the level 100 gang. But we're, I wanna see if he follows. And we are gonna go ahead and save here. And go back to Peyote. Oh, Calyrex does follow. That is so cool. That is awesome. It's so pretty, too. Like the horse, anyway. Calyrex looks weird. Anyway, we don't even have to do that. We. God damn it. We have to go back to the town and report to Peony. Bada bing. Let's see where we go ahead and. And, uh. Let's see what Peony has to say. Oi, oi, Chief. How goes the adventure? Anything to report? Yep. Wait, you really caught Calyrex from the Legends? That's Ultra Mega Brilliant. Report away. That, 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 that noggin's massive. Is that the King of Bountiful Harvest? The one calling the shots around here? Uh, I can swear I've seen it before. Or then again, maybe not. But anyway, it's definitely regal if it had, if... Of it to have a steed. English is not good with me. And that massive head does sort of resemble a crown. It's kingly enough at any rate. Let's just call this a successful expedition. Looks like you've reported all there is to report on Legendary Clue 1 and the King of Bountiful Harvest. Smashing! I'll mark this expedition done. Alright! Was able to reconnect. Alright. Alright, that's one thing done. Got anything else legendary you want to talk about? Uh, no. Actually, we're still working on this one. And we haven't done anything with the birds yet. Alright, I see how the stories go. Calarx is only one part of three big things. Hybrid Cult! <laughs> is back seating allowed? Um, not really. I'm trying to go at this pretty blind, but uh, if it's not going to be something that's going to spoil everything for me, then I don't care. I know I need to go find a snowflake. Well, what's up, Hypercult? There's a snowflake. Bye bye! We're catching Pokemans! Yeah, we have tons of Pokeballs, guys. Just <laughs> so many fucking Pokeballs. Dude, I have a shiny Rayquaza as well. I have to move it over from um, Pokemon Home, though. Blink, blink. Just give it to me, you know. Oh, you bitch. But the shiny Rayquaza is one of my favorite Pokemon. Uh, I hope it doesn't kill it. Do you? I only have the snake version of him, I think. Which, honestly, I really like, so... Let's do Giga Drain again. And I think I'll throw a couple uh, Pokeballs at his ass because we're going to need him to, I think, open up one of the Reggie things. Let's just use an Ultra Ball. Love you too, baby. Get home safe, please. 
There we go. You can get the other key items from the man at Stow on Side Market. I figured as much, dude. Because that's where you get a lot of the shit from. Yeah, I want to add him to the party. Let's take away Gengar. And now we go search for the snow. Um, I think I was there. I think I was there. At least I believe I was there. Mount Thunder Station, Max Lair, no. Okay, maybe I wasn't there. Huh. Well, I guess we're gonna go find Ice Reggie's uh place. <clears throat> it's because the Calyrex uh, Pokemon has um has uh is a ghost with his horse. That's why I put away Gengar for now. He's gonna be back on my team. It's just a for now thingy. Well, go away. I need to find my way back up. The, uh, the ice cube I need for is uh, to open up one of the Reggie doors. Then I'm just gonna go in and throw a master ball at them and yeah, I'll be done with it. Don't know where it is though. I mean, I'll definitely find it, but. When, who the hell knows? Oh, that's not a, that's not a problem. Um, I have other friends who were playing this uh, that I could use one of their Reggies. There, there's not a lot of new Pokemon, baby, at all in this. A lot of it's um, all the older... Oh, that's pretty. A lot of it's all the older ones. I went past... Thank you, Hypercult. I'm guessing it's over this way. It's a pretty thing. Thank you, homie. God damn it. No, stop it. This is why you shouldn't switch between PlayStation. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> it's angry. <laughs> <clears throat> it has to be this way. <clears throat> oh, God damn it. Back at the brick pit? All right, I'll try to find what you're talking about. Come on, ghost, go away. Don't need to start catching all of you until after. Oh, back over here. Yeah, I didn't come this way earlier. 
There's so many of those ice Pokemon that it's it's pretty obvious that's how you get in here. I think I have to have it. I always, always move pressing the wrong pocket buttons. Okay, you I need to move because you're well, we'll put you there for now. All right, Crystal Stone. Yeah, there we go. There's another edgy. I have like 900 Pokeballs, um, Master Balls, so we're good. I kind of wish they made this more puzzly because it, it's kind of lame that all you have to do is light them. So far with this DLC, I kind of don't like it. I just want to catch the Pokemon and uh, wait for the next game to come out. That's why I don't even care that I'm cheesing the living hell out of this. Yeah, no Pokemon is getting away from me. Ever. Get in the ball! Shut up, Reggie! There we go. Got another Reggie. Do I want to battle? Who am I battling, sir? Send it to the box. Legend versus legend. Not at the moment. We still have another Reggie to beat. A couple more. Oi, oi, Peony here. Enjoying your adventures. And come again? You've done you've gone and met the ice giant Reggie Ice? Smashing work, Chief. Now crack on with those other giants. Keep up the good work. I'll uh I'll battle later on, dude, if you want. After the stream is done, that is. Ah, uh, there's uh, one more Reggie I have to go get. Well, two more, actually. One I have to pick. Uh, the other one, I think, is over here. Right? Yeah, right. No, I went to this one. I got this one already. Fuck. Um, where's the other one? Where is the other legend, um, other Reggie Hypercult? I know one of them is in this thing over here, I think. Yeah, right here. I know that's the one that you have to pick. That's the one of the new ones, or both of the new ones. Ah. But where would the uh the other normal Reggie be? I know that's the graveyard. That's the giant's foot. Oh you lakeside cave maybe? I have no clue. Oh yeah, I don't need him anymore. We'll go ahead and put our Gengar back. Oh no, you're at it. What do you mean I'm at it? This is for Reggie Rock. The one that I'm at now. Now I'm talking about the other here. Uh, let me show you which ones I have so far. 
I have Reggie Rock, and where the hell did Reggie Ice go? Yeah, I have the two Reggies. That was the first one, and this is the second. Reggie Steel, I need. Yeah. These two I've gotten. Obviously, you can see them right here. Go to the massive wild area from Freezington. All right. Over here. Is it really that close? You bitch! I already caught you. Go away. It's really that close? That's bullshit. Yeah, this DLC I, I kind of don't like. Like, I enjoy the whole Pokemon aspect of everything, you know? That really... Who really that damn close? How do I do it? How do I whistle? There we go. Yeah, I knew that much. I'm saving the the birds for last because those those are my favorite ones. Step on the thing. Bitch. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. You sound like a transformer all you want. Come on, buddy. Get your massive ball. Moltres? I thought it was uh, Zapdos that was the uh, bitch that was to catch up to. I know you gotta chase him. Put, put him in a bag. Alright. Now I got all three of those. I gotta get... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got... We got them. I'll take that energy and go catch the others. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know Moltres flies. Articuno does some type of like spirit thing. It's Aptos, you gotta chase. Now, I believe I have to head out to here. Which means I think I gotta go through there. So I gotta go this way. I go left. Or right. Kinda wish there was like a mini map. What is up here though? Oh, fucking town. So it should just be all the way over. Hopefully I'm correct, but, you know. Probably not. Ah. Uh. Yeah? Okay. Old cemetery. Oh, 
I'm gonna say down here. I'm horrible with directions. There's so many big ass things popping up. God. Ah, fuck you, spider. Oh. Frog. You think? Ah, you know what? We're over here anyway. Uh, fuck you, magic cart. I'll check what's through here anyhow. I got a rare candy. That's cool, at least. Yeah, I kind of figured it was that way. I am in a big ass cave, though. Hey! You're about to take. No, I, I like you as a Pokemon, but no. All the fucking fossils are back and alive. That's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. And somehow I'm out. Oh, shit. This is kind of neat. Looks like I've got no Sharkitos trying to fucking ram my ass this time around. I'm just, I'm just exploring now. I will turn back on them. Look at that big ass thing. If anything, I'll just uh, teleport back and go the opposite way. Yeah, 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 I spurred my ass. Hey, bug yourself. The Roaring Sea Caves. Is it the Roaring Sea Caves? Is that's where I have to uh, go through to get to the other area? Yeah, I I have to go through here to get to there. Did I just fuck myself? Was I out there? I think I was out there. Cobaline, cool. Yeah, but. Don't you have to do something special to go ahead and get them to spawn? Yeah. I'll go away. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. God damn! Fucking elephants popping out everywhere! Fuck's wrong with you? Yes, Calyrex, we get it. Jesus! Go away. I think I go this way.
I was in the right spot, god damn it. I have to go through fucking Elephant Valley over here. God damn it. No, no way. Yeah, you gotta get through these caves in order to get over to the fucking thing. No. No. I had a hunch. Fuck you, Zubat. Go away. Fuck yeah. Oh, God. Dead end. Jesus Christ. You're so angry. Ah. Fuck you. There it is. I believe I have to have the other Reggies in my party. In order to open up this door, I think, right? what I'm getting. The one that breaks the fucking game. The one that has 200 speed. And uh, there we go. Come on, Regileggy. I think he looks cool. But he's tiny. Oh, I didn't want to fight it. Well, I guess we could smack the shit out of it for a bit. Please don't kill it. Yep. Worst, worst mistake ever. Yeah, let, let's wake his ass back up. Give him a, f give him a fucking aspirin. And throw a fucking master ball at him. Jesus. Yeah, let's not kill them. <laughs> let's not fuck the poor thing up again. I just spit something on my fucking thingy. There we go. We got all the Reggie leggies we can, well, Reggies we can, uh, catch in this, so. No, no, we're just gonna send his ass to, he's so cool looking, I like him. But, uh, those are all the ones we could catch. So we could go ahead and fix our team again. I personally don't like none of the Reggies. That's why I'll never keep them on my team. But uh, 
once we get the fifth one, I'm going to have to do a lot of trading for that. Uh, we'll go ahead and get, um, what, whatever his name is, Reggie something. Reggie Gigas. So yeah, let's get the hell out of here, go back to Peony, and, uh, figure out the bird situation. Let's go talk to this fuck. Yeah, I gotta get Reggie Drago. Then once I get him, we'll go get Reggie Gigas. Hi, hi, Chief. How goes the adventure? Anything to report? The legendary giants. Reggie Rock. Yeah, I don't want to read none of this. I don't like any of this. Yes, we caught Reggie Ice. You're gonna fucking... Come on. Like, Peony is the worst character I think they've ever made in this game. As a whole, I like Pokemon. I do. I really do. But... I think this DLC fell really short. But, uh, it's gonna be really cool. It's going to be really cool being able to go ahead and capture all the legendaries again. And plus the, the legendary birds with their new forms. Though That's going to be cool. I got nothing on the birds yet, but... This, uh... Yeah, let's heal up some Pokemon. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and save. Thank you. And we're going to call the stream quits, guys, because, yeah. We're going to go ahead and find somebody to raid, actually. Let's see who is on. We'll have to go to Twitch over there. But I mean, it, it's all right, I guess. I don't exactly, I'm not into the story. I don't like Calyrex's design. But uh, as far as it goes, I guess it's all right. Who are we going to raid? Actually, let's find somebody who's playing Pokemon. Some random guy Twitch. Shiny Reggie Reggie Drago? What? Here's a dude actually shiny hunting Reggie Drago. We'll go ahead and send you off over to there. And uh Yeah. I will check y'all later, guys. As soon as we go ahead and raid. Let's not turn off the stream until we raid. <laughs>